83 in Colorado Springs, 91 in Pueblo, and low to mid 90s out here on the Eastern Plains. We're going to see 83 in Gunnison and 87 in Alamosa for our highs today. So it's a couple degrees below average and nearly 10 degrees below what we saw yesterday. A nice cool down for everyone who likes those more mild temperatures. Now, as for those rain showers and clouds moving in this afternoon, let's take a look at our future cast. You can see one o'clock. We'll start to see some moisture here along I-25, and then we move into the evening hours. And most of that moisture moving out toward the eastern plains by 7 o'clock. Still, though, could see a scattered shower or two along I-25 in the evening. All drying out, though, by the time we get to the late evening. And we're just stuck with some partly cloudy conditions for our overnight as well. Overnight lows are going to be cooler than usual as well. 53 in Colorado Springs, 60 in Pueblo, and anywhere from the high 50s to low 60s on the eastern plains. Our mountain valleys, where that cold air sinks in and stays, we'll see 44 in Gunnison and 45 in Alamosa for our lows tonight. Now, you can see, taking a wider look at what we're seeing, you can see we have this little trough moving into Colorado bringing a cold front that's bringing those colder temperatures and showers our way as well as that cloud coverage. Now you can see tomorrow even cooler 76 for our high in Colorado Springs. Those are fall temperatures. We'll have 72 in Woodland Park, 66 in Cripple Creek tomorrow, 82 in Canyon City and 84 in Pueblo. Haven't seen a temperature that low in Pueblo in a while. So lucky for them in the Steel City. We'll have a little bit of relief from all of these hot temperatures in the 90s that we've been seeing and even triple digits. Now out on the Eastern Plains, we're seeing mid 80s tomorrow as well and almost a rinse and repeat when it comes to that precipitation. Let's go through the hours though. One o'clock, as I mentioned, showers along I-25, but the only difference that we're going to see is the chance for those showers to really linger out on the Eastern Plains into the late evening. Look at 11 o'clock on Sunday. Still seeing some showers out there, then eventually drying out overnight once again with those cloud cover sticking around. Now, as for temperatures, you can see really dipping down tomorrow, but then we heat right back up on Monday as some high pressure returns from the southeast, really warming up throughout the week and will near 90 in Colorado Springs by Friday. Overnight lows are going to stay in the high 50s and 60s for the most part throughout the week after we get through this cold front, 91 in Colorado Springs today, and then some relief 84 tomorrow. And look at those precipitation chances drop as that high pressure moves in. We're going to have some sunny skies this week and some dry weather. So get out there and enjoy it. Really? A mixed bag, good for everyone, everyone who likes those mild temperatures for this weekend. And then if you really like that summer heat, well, we'll be back at it by the time we get to the end of the week. There's a look in Monument back up to the mid 80s by the end of the week and Canyon City and Woodland Park following a similar trend with rain over the weekend and then we dry out midweek.